In this video, I'm going to be answering some questions about the preliminary breath test in the context of a DUI investigation. First, what is a preliminary breath test? A preliminary breath test is a breathalyzer, a small compact machine that an officer will carry with them in their squad car. This is usually the fourth test that an officer will ask you to perform during the course of his DUI investigation. What the preliminary breath test is supposed to do is it's supposed to determine your blood alcohol content. And this is done by blowing in this machine and then the machine will usually give a result to the officer. The things to remember about a PBT is it's not evidentiary. At no time will you ever go into court and will an officer be allowed to say, this was the result of the preliminary breath test. The only time it ever comes into play is whenever an officer is justifying probable cause to arrest you. The results of the PBT should never come into evidence during the course of your DUI trial. Before an officer can validly request a preliminary breath test, he must give you three warnings. First, he must tell you you have, do not have the right to consult with an attorney before performing the test. The second thing that an officer must tell you is that failure to provide a sample or refusal of a PBT is an infraction. The third thing that the officer must tell you is that you may be subject to further testing after the preliminary breath test. When it comes to the particular breath test that the officer is requesting you submit to, there are 31 different breath tests that are approved by the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. If an officer uses a test that is not submitted or not approved by the Kansas Department of Health and Environment, then that test cannot be validly used against you in court, even to establish probable cause to arrest you. If you've been charged with a DUI and either you submitted to or refused a preliminary breath test, you need to have a competent criminal defense lawyer help you navigate either the refusal or the results and that impact on your DUI case.